Good morning, everybody. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. It's a chilly morning today. Uh, I got the pleasure to show you guys a nice pre-owned 2021 Numar Ventana 4037 bath and a half. Um, previous owners took excellent care of this coach. Um, it does have just under 16,000 miles on it. About, I was just looking at the generator. Generator works perfect, 62 hours on it. Uh, some things that we do here at TransWest too, we will service the generator. We will change the oil filters. We do an alignment. We do a road test. So this thing gets a very thorough inspection on it as these come in on trade. So just something I want to point out there. Uh, why don't we get started with this one uh, on the outside here. Um, so I mentioned to you, it is a 4037 floor plan. Um, in 2021, they went to all three of this is there's all the, the steer tires and the tag axle along with the drive axle a 305 tires but you also have a 14,200 pound uh, axle up front that was increased you've got a 20,000 pound drive axle as well as a 10,000 pound tag axle to the rear um, dual fuel fill you got 100 gallons of fuel you can fill from both sides uh, the diesel exhaust fluid is going to be on the other side. Uh, it's got a 10-gallon reservoir. Um, some measurements real quick just to go over with you. We've got the wheelbase on a 40-foot chassis on this particular one. It is on a Spartan chassis. So this is a Spartan with a wheelbase of 245 inches plus the tag. <clears throat> it will tow up to 15,000 pounds. It's got a 400 horsepower with 1,250 pound-foot of torque. Uh, this is a ISL, it's a Cummins ISL, so um, 8.9 liter. All right, coming down the side here, you've got some good storage. You'll notice in here it's got 12 volt and electrical outlet, or electrical wiring ran in this first compartment. Should you want to add a refrigerator freezer combo on a slide tray in this particular location, definitely doable. It already has the wiring there for you. Uh, you'll see some loose tile in there um, when we go inside. This did get ordered when it was brand new. It got ordered with the special uh, tile out of the Dutch Star brand from Numar. That's what's in this one. Um, and those are some extra tiles. Should you drop anything heavy and crack a piece of tile inside the coach, you've got some nice replacements there. <clears throat> Next bay here, we've got a pull cool slide out slide tray here this will hold up to a thousand pounds it'll slide out on both sides and you'll notice we've got a ladder we've got a ladder sitting on this slide tray so on the rear of the coach when we get back there in a little bit you'll see there is a rear ladder that's where you store the extension part for that ladder to get to the rooftop up above here we've got an outside refrigerator uh, refrigerator exterior tv with the bose sound bar and this will pull out you can get the angle if the sun's at the wrong angle. You can tilt that to get the glare off of the television. Of course, that Bose soundbar, it is a Bluetooth speaker, so you can pair your mobile devices to it too. If you want to listen to your tunes outside, you certainly can. And then up here, you got an electrical outlet with a couple of USB ports. <clears throat> Moving down the line here, we've got another three-quarter tray. So this one doesn't go all the way across as it backs up to the oasis. Other side on the other side of the coach is going to be where the hydronic heat's located. So that backs right up to that location. Also in here, you've got the central vacuum filter where you can change that out couple of panels in there, those white panels you see on the wall there, your, your Gerard awning control panels. There's some electrical outlets in there as well. And some other panels back in there are gonna be tied into your slide controls. Speaking of awnings, um, if you pan up, you'll notice I've got the awnings out. So these are the Gerard Nova awnings. You've got two Nova awnings that run the full length of the coach just about. Uh, plus I, did, I went ahead and left the entrance awning out too. You notice up front here, so you got a lot of good awning coverage for the patio side. Something to point out there. 
360 camera view. So you'll notice a camera here. We get around to the back, there's another camera on the rear, one on the front. Gives you that stitched view, gives you a bird's eye view of the coach on your monitors inside the coach. Pegboard. So behind the pegboard, you're gonna have 105 gallons of fresh water. In 2021, they did increase the gray and the black tank sizes too. So you've got 75 gallons of gray and 55 gallons of black, plus 105 gallons of fresh water. If you notice the location, it's right in front of this drive axle. So this is where you want a lot of, the, that's gonna be a lot of weight. You add all those, uh, adding water to these tanks. So that's where you want it um, to be more near the, the drive axle. We can handle all that weight. So I mentioned earlier, this is a 20,000 pound drive axle, 10,000 pound tag. That's, that tag will turn up to, I believe it's like 12 degrees as needed um, at, at speeds of about 20 miles or less. Also, when you go into reverse, this tag axle will automatically center itself. As long as you have the switch in the auto position, which is at the driver's seat, I can show you when we get inside. It'll dump the air on the actual tag axle, distribute the weight to the on the tag to the drive so you don't get any tire scrub if tire scrub if you're backing up the coach. Moving down the line here we got your chassis batteries. Um, I mentioned to you this is a Spartan chassis so you do have nice access to the air dryer, <clears throat> your fuel filter, uh, some additional filters are easy to get to in here. If you come around back Oops. This is a rear radiator uh, setup, but you have still have nice access to your filter minder, transmission fluid. By the way, this has an Allison 3000 series. Um, with the Allison 3000 series and the 400 horsepower Cummins ISL 8.9 liter, you've got a, a 15,000 pound tow rating on the hitch. It does have brake controller, pre-wired for brake controller here. It also has an air system here. If you have an Air Force One or anything like that on your tow vehicle, it's already set up for that. I mentioned to you the bird's eye view, um, 360 Omni, Omni view, that camera on the side. So here's that additional camera to stitch that view. Plus you have the backup camera at the very top. And then I showed you that ladder earlier. So that, that does hook onto here and will uh, we'll access points down below here. So you can pull yourself up and get to the rooftop. The, with this having a side radiator, you do have some additional storage here on the side. Um, you do have a plug in here as well. And then uh, there's something, some things I want to point out real quick with, with this being a Numar, things you can't see, um, integrated gutter system. So when you're running your air conditioners in the summer or it's, or it's pouring down rain outside, you do have um, a, an integrated gutter system throughout the entire rooftop. So you won't have any water coming down the sides of the coach. All that's going to be running through the tubes inside the guts of the coach, if you will. <clears throat> Here's a diesel exhaust fluid reservoir. And you'll notice the slides in right now, but from here all the way to the front, got up approximately 30 feet of a full wall slide. When we get inside in a little bit, you'll get to see that open up, uh, but it does get, give you Lots of room inside the coach. It really opens up the coach quite a bit. Uh, real quick, too, uh, I wanted to point something out. The previous owner on this one did upgrade the shocks. So if you're familiar with Coney shocks, this has brand new Coney shocks all the way around. So just something I want to point out there. <clears throat> little reservoir here for some of your outside items that are, pertain to the dump station. You want to keep your sewage hose in here, some additional gloves, chemicals, things like that. 
keep that locked up in here. And then here's the dump station. You know, this is nice and nice and clean. Everything's nicely labeled. Outdoor shower, whole house water filtration system. This is your city water. You pull this out, pop that in place where the flap seals are at. Close the doors. Makes life easy when you're unhooking and hooking up. Same thing with the your 50 amp power cord. This is 50 feet long. You walk it out, pop that in place where the flap seals are located, close the door, and then when it comes time to go, you do have a power reel on it. So that will pull it back in. And inside here, you also have your transfer switch, automatic transfer switch locations all in here, cable hookups. <clears throat> and then this did get, um, it's got a side mount satellite location as well as a rooftop satellite. Oasis, this is the hydronic heat. That's what's heating the inside of the coach. Try to move along here a little quicker so we can get inside because it is chilly outside. Other side of the pass-through uh, storage tray. So this comes all the way out on this side. Newmar does a real nice job with the LED lights in these compartments. Just something I want to point out. <clears throat> There's a switch at the entrance door where you can turn that, flip that switch on. Turns all your compartment lights on. In this bay, you've got your AGM. It's got eight AGM batteries on a slide tray. Again, opposite, opposite end of the, for the 100-gallon uh, fuel tank. This is the exhaust on the generator. In this, in this um, bay, you're going to have a lot of your fuses, wiring harnesses, that are all going to be tied into the Spartan chassis. Uh, brake lights, run, uh, turn, turn signal lights, electric seats, anything tied into the chassis cockpit, um, fuse controls, all is going to be located in this area. It's also where your release is located. A little handle here if I pull on that. That'll give me access to the front. Let me, get, let me do that one more time. Okay, in here, we've got the 8,000 watt Onan diesel generator. I mentioned to you earlier, it does have 62 hours on it. Um, it's also where you're, over here on the left side is your hydraulics. You've got an uh, automatic hydraulic leveling system on board. Um, this little outside light in, in the nighttime, you can see in here well with that big bright LED light. Over on the right side here, you'll see some air horns, some hidden air horns. You'll see that red handle right here. This is a hot water line in this location. After a long trip, you get a bunch of bugs that cake up on the front windshield and the front of the coach. Hook up a hose to that. It makes life easy when it comes to cleaning the front of your coach. And down below, you'll see a little reservoir for your windshield wiper fluid. Also where your fuel filter is located for the generator but you have some nice access to that with this hood opening up here, like so. All right, let's go in where it's nice and toasty and warm. As Well, as we go in, I just wanna point this out real quick. You've got these little hidden compartments under the steps. Great place to keep umbrellas, maps, flip-flops, shoes, extra tools, things all associated with outside you can keep in here. All right, I've cut the slides in. Just so you can see, I easily just navigated to this location here. Um, if you need to access the mid-bath, when you're on the road, you can still easily get in, in here. You need to use the restroom. You need to access anything in the refrigerator. 
grab a cold beverage or something like that, grab a sandwich, you still get in here easily. Um, let me switch spots with you. If you want to go up the front and we'll start running some of these slides out. All right. So while these slides are going out, um, you'll notice that the decor package on this really looks nice. It's got the toffee glazed maple cabinets with a matte finish. Um, it's got the Belmont decor, is what they called this in 2021. You'll notice it has theater seats. We've got a couple of those cup holders lit up. Those change colors. Um, and you've got some USB ports in, uh, in both or theater seat reclining areas to charge your mobile devices or tablets. <clears throat> so as this slide's going out, you'll notice there's carpet on the slide here. So that's, that's got a ramp that is going down. As it goes out, it takes gravity and it just levels itself up. So that is a flush floor slide. In the Ventana lineup, you're still gonna get some carpet um, here just to hide it just hides the, the seam right here where the tile f uh, finishes out. But um, you'll notice when you go to the next level up, with a, let's, let's say it's a, with a with the Dutch Star line does have the all tile floor, but that slide has to go out and then 90 degrees down. So this one does have a cogwheel slide, very dependable. Newmar has been doing the cogwheel slide since 1989. They actually invented the slide then. Um, very dependable, heavy duty and reliable so <clears throat> something to point out there um, you notice we have the booth dinette um, one thing i like about this floor plan in the 4037 is you do get a much wider table this will also come out you've got a little leg that flips down here there's two extra leaves that'll go in place here plus two more folding chairs that's all hidden under the bed in the back Real simple to operate. All of your shades are manual. So you've got the MCD roller shades throughout. Um, and then you'll notice you have electrical outlets on both sides of the dinette. There's two 110 outlets and two USB ports in both electrical outlets. Next to this, you do have multiplex lighting so you can control some of your seed, some of your different lights throughout the coach. Um, and then in the middle of your theater seating, we've got some more uh, multiplex lighting. Also, it's where your TV, televator up and down. I'm gonna hit this switch here. And across the way, we've got a 50, 50 inch smart TV. And also, if you notice in the very front, we've got a 43 inch smart TV. There's an additional 43 inch in the bedroom as well. And then this is a fold and tumble sleeper sofa. Real quick, I'll show you how this works. So these are just Velcroed. Pull these off here. You got, you notice with this, with this open, we're gonna have a couple of seat belts. So you do have two seat belts in this fold and tumble sofa. And as I flip this forward, I'll pull this up a little bit. So this has a roll out air mattress. So you roll this all the way up, plug it in, air it up, and you've got yourself a, about a queen size bed air mattress. All right, moving, our, moving down to the kitchen area. Um, lots of counter space. Uh, you'll notice everything's flush all the way back. There's nothing, no lifts or anything like that. 
even with these covers here, everything's nice and level. On the flip side of these cutting boards, or cutting boards, covers, you do have cutting board inserts on both of those. You've got a removable induction cooktop. You notice where it plugs in here. If I want to take this outside and cook, I can. Of course, you got stainless steel sink. Residential faucet head, convection microwave oven. Guys, very clean. Very previous owners have taken great care of this coach. Um, we really haven't had to do a whole lot with this. I mean, it will get a final detail, of course, somebody when this does finally deliver, but it's in really nice shape. So uh, pull out, we'll pull out tray here. It's all the lovely owner's manuals inside of there some good storage down below here as well you can see this is a good place for a little dedicated trash can I haven't come across that but one could certainly be added no problem you got three nice good sized drawers here full extension drawer glides and then this will come out you've got an additional island here that comes out for an, some extra countertop space and of course these pull out as well two nice size drawers the half bath um, you do have your your house breakers and your fuses are gonna be, always try to mention this, Newmark keeps these things out of reach for chil from children, um, easy to get to with the slides in, just something to point out. Everything's nicely labeled over here. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got all your fuse controls. This is fuse panel. Everything's nicely labeled there, as well as the breakers are all nicely labeled as well. So you can see what you're operating. It's also where the KIB panel is located back behind here that's kind of the brains for the multiplex light switches throughout the coach if you will <clears throat> and then you do have a porcelain porcelain toilet um, macerator flushing toilet and then over to the side here I'll get out of the way there's some additional storage You notice the bowl sink that you just panned across there. Um, it's just kind of nice. I mean, you, guys, you still have some room around there, but by having the bowl sink up top like that, it's going to give you some good storage underneath. And open that one up too, but there is more storage there as well. And then you do have a medicine cabinet right up above there as well. So for a little small half bath, it's got pretty good storage in there. Um, I didn't mention this to you, but kick plate in here. If I'm sweeping up the floors in here, you can sweep to here and that's the central vac that pulls all the dust and trash in there. You also have some hose attachments, which we'll hook in here for the central vac. go out with this slide so we've got one more slide to go out here now that's going out this is a king size bed <clears throat> and then you do have pretty good sized pocket door to close off your living room and bedroom Something I'm not mentioning because it's probably cold outside, but it does have two 15,000 BTU air conditioners on the rooftop. So in summertime, you've got to keep it nice and cool in here. Um, and then, let's see. Yep, I already went through that. I talked about the um, 
additional leaves and the two folding chairs. You know, so just, this is just some of the loose supplies, but there's the central vacuum controls, two leaves, two chairs to, to uh, meet the dinette. Um, also something else I always like to point out with Newmar, if you'll notice, you've got a nice big gap on the side over here. Um, if I push this bed across a little bit, well, it's kind of hard to push, but you can get around on both sides um, to make put your sheets on, your blankets, your comforter. Um, you're not fighting the walls, so they give you a nice gap on both sides. You do have electrical outlets and USB ports on both sides. And then up top here, we've got electrical outlet inside this overhead compartment with access ports on both sides of the bed. If you want to run any additional charge lines up top and running down here, or if you have a sleep, uh, sleeping machines, you can certainly keep those hidden up here and out of sight and keep them plugged in overhead. Speaking of overhead, you do have some of your light controls are going to be above your head as well when you're laying in bed. In front of the bed, we've got some additional storage. Get some more lights on in here. So some good hanging storage down below. This one will pop down because this is gonna be for, um, you know, if you got any additional receivers or game systems you want to add to the bedroom area, that's what this, this location's for. And then you have five decent sized full uh, drawers for additional storage. I mentioned to you that the, the 43 inch LED smart TV, I believe in this, 20, in this year, 2021, is when they increased the TV size in the master bedroom. Nice big full length mirror here. And you do have another nice pocket door to separate the master bathroom from the bedroom. And back here in the back, as we're coming to the rear, you've got stackable washer and dryer. Again, a second toilet, porcelain toilet. Um, this is a macerator, macerating flushing toilet. Um, I'm gonna close this here. So this, this uh, has an egress door here. So this will open up. This panel will come off. Oops. You've got a telescoping ladder. Makes life easier when, if you need to get out of here, you do have a telescoping ladder in your kind of emergency. And lots of counter space around the sink, all Corian countertops, use of storage underneath the sink area, and full extension drawer glides. Great storage. Medicine cabinet, tons of storage, tons of room in there. And then in this closet here, this will open up. Gives you some additional hanging storage. Plus you'll notice a safe in there and additional drawer down below. And we've got a decent sized shower here. So you've got the rounded shower. I'm six foot two. I've still got plenty of room, plenty of headroom. I can take a comfortable shower in here. Um, yes, they have, have gotten larger showers over the years. Um, they've had to increase the length of the coaches in order to do that. Um, this coach is 40 feet, 10 inches uh, overall length. And um, in this year, that's the, the style shower it comes with was this rounded style shower. Um, you do have the bench seat, which is nice. Um, you'll notice a little blue, um, this little blue control here. So this does change colors. Um, if you're, you've got 105 gallons of fresh water, but if you wanted to activate the aquamizer, that will recirculate the water so you're not wasting it, waiting on your water to get hot. Changes colors, letting you know when it's hot, and it gives you that instant hot water. 
<clears throat> okay. I didn't mention the size of the refrigerator. This is, I believe it's a 19.7 cubic foot uh, or 18.7 cubic foot Whirlpool all electric refrigerator. Ice, ice maker below. It's winterized right now. That's what the blue stuff is. And we've got, uh, that's another thing new for 2021 was the push to release pantry drawers. So they don't go flying open on you when you're making a hard left turn. So I can pull on these. They're nice and tight. Again, push to release. And all your pantry drawers. Really nice, nice job that Newmar does on all the pantry drawers. Do have some additional storage underneath these, the booth dinette. Both of these drawers will pull out. And I didn't mention to y'all earlier, but these, this does have a little extra storage above the theater seats. And then above the, the um, 50 inch LED TV, you've got some extra storage here as well. Notice the sound bar up here. It does have a hidden subwoofer, so it has a nice sound system in here to go along with the 50 inch TV. Um, the, you have, HDMI plugs are all set for adding a DVD player, adding a satellite receiver. You'll notice a little switch box right here. I've got a, a, a tri, you've got a, a side mount satellite or a rooftop satellite. You can toggle between two different satellites there. And then one other thing I always like to point out, um, you'll notice the thickness in this overhead here. So this slide goes straight out and straight in. It's not a flush floor slide or anything like that. So this gives you a good opportunity to see what Numar does here. So they keep the thickness and the insulation that goes from this, this padded ceiling to the rooftop is consistent, kept in the headers of the slide rooms. Same thing on the flush floor slide on this side as well. But what does that do for you? It won't work the furnace as hard in the winter. It won't work the, work the air conditioners as hard in the summertime keeps it nice and quiet. Um, if you're watching a ball game or you're watching a movie and it starts pouring down rain outside, I always like to point out you're not sitting there cranking the volume up to hear your hear whatever it is you're watching. Uh, just some things, I, little things that Numar does that separates them from other brands out there. Okay. Uh, swivel seats, so both captain's chairs, they will spin around and join the living room. Um, they are six-way power seats. This uh, captain's chair does have the little uh, table top, if you will. It goes over the lap laptop table. It folds up back and out of the way. Um, I think another thing that was added in 21 was the charge mat for the passenger side. So this is a charge mat for your phones. If you don't have the wireless style phone to charge, you do have electrical and USB ports located there as well. Uh, step cover control. This, this does have a step cover that comes all the way out and it should come up. There you go. So you're dangling your feet in the step well for those that have longer legs sitting on the passenger seat. All right, and then over here in the cockpit area here, we've got, again, we've got a six-way power seat. Let me move this back a little bit. Um, if, I want, if I wanted to adjust the, um, the pedals down below, these are suspended floor pedals. You, there is a switch over here on my right where I can, I can move the pedals in and out for those with longer legs or shorter legs. This is a telescoping tilt, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Um, being a Spartan chassis, 
I love the way they, the dash is here. It's easy to read. Um, you can just toggle through all the different settings, brightness, messages. Settings is probably where you're mostly going to be use, keeping that set when you're driving it because that is where you go into settings and that's where you go into your comfort drive. So comfort drive is a system that Numar has been using since 2007. Um, and basically what that does is if you're driving through a real windy state, um, 30, 40 mile hour wind gusts are sitting there blowing you around. Every 20 seconds, it's monitoring the way you're driving the coach. So it's not, it's not gonna, uh, it fights the wind for you without you fighting it. So it cuts back on fatigue on long road trips. Uh, if there's a crown in the road and you're constantly fighting the crown in the road, it fights it for you. So Comfort Drive is a really unique uh, addition that Numar has been using since 2007 and they use that on all their diesel coaches from the, from the Ventana LE of the past, which is now the, the, uh, uh, the uh, why am I drawing a blank? Country Air. Um, and then you've got Ventana, Dutch Star, all the way up to the King Air. So um, over here you got your backup camera. It's also where your side cameras are located. I turn my blinkers on. That's going to display the right and the left side of the coach. Um, you've got uh, your um, how you've got GPS is all going to be programmed in here. Sirius XM satellite radio. Uh, let's go back to the menu here. Bluetooth settings. You can Bluetooth your phones to this as well. Um, generator controls are down below here. Some shade controls. Your HVAC on the chassis side are down below here as well. Um, over here on the left side, we've got the hydraulic leveling system. <clears throat> it's also going to be, I mentioned to when we were outside, I told you I would show you where that switch is for the tag dump. So that's this switch here. If I have that in the forward position, Every time I go into reverse, it's going to dump the air on the tag and distribute the weight to the drive axle uh, so you don't get any tire scrab when you're going into reverse. This is your engine brake on and off. It does have a three-stage low, medium, and high engine brake. There's a pedals con pedal control that I was just operating. You can merge your house with a chassis or chassis with the house batteries by holding that um, momentary switch down. This is an air horn on and off six-speed Allison 3000 series. Uh, cup holders are a nice addition for the driver. You got a couple cup, different cup holders there for your coffee and your uh, and your energy drink or whatever it is you got, got riding next to you there. Um, yeah, so let's see. I think I've hit most of this coach I could think of. Um, again, my name's Grant Russell. Um, if there's any questions that anyone might have on this particular coach or anything else we have in stock, feel free to reach out anytime. Um, you can my my phone number and email address should be listed below, grussell at transwest.com, or you can text or call me anytime at 720-539-4711. You guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. I'm out.